Gonna come check on some worms I added yesterday. Let's see. See if we had them a lot of die off or not. I'm not seeing a lot of dead ones. Oh man, they've piled up. That's good or bad, I'm not sure. Let me take this off, we'll get a better look. Hey puppies, what are you guys doing? You just want to be pet. You just want to be pale, both of you. Oh, both of you. going to fight over it now? Get back. Looks like there's a few surface piles that are... Oh, they're deep. They go in there quite a ways. They're all alive. Oh my gosh. It's funny, they did this on their own because I spread them out yesterday. And they're just living in a... a pile. And then over here, they got another one under the surface oh man so there got another surface pile over here and there yeah that one's deep too so they're alive they're doing fine it's just weird they all piled up like that let's just be getting used to their new home same thing under the next one this one's about around a banana though, so at least that one makes sense. But uh, they're just kind of working the surface. Hopefully they just spread out and kind of get back to eating normal. But uh, putting these sheet metal on was a great idea. It's working out awesome. Keeps the dogs off it, keeps everything from being disturbed except for when I disturb it. Which is more often than I should, but I just get excited. Now over here is more of our our Europeans are kind of hanging out on this side. A bunch up here, but some fat worms. They're living a good life. These haven't been disturbed in a long time, so it must just be because it's been. I mean, look at the size of that one. He's six inches long or more. Just all curled up. It must be just because it's raining out here. I bet that's what it is. I'm just overthinking it. Just the barometric pressure drop and the humidity. The cool air has got them all coming to the surface. I wonder if worms, even when they're under a cover, know if it's raining. I imagine they do. I imagine they, I imagine they can feel pressure changes. All right, well, I got to the farm today, checking on some worms that we added. We had about 30,000 the other day, and I noticed we had not a huge die off, but I've turned it a little bit, but there was, I see some there's up here. There was more dead worms than I was comfortable with. Um, adding new worms to a vein, that's not super uncommon to lose quite a few. I just turned it, so. Some of the worms are a little bit more active again. But anyway, there was a die off. Happens, half, it was a little bit more than I wanted. So I went through all the things it could be. So when you have a die off in a worm bin, it could be one of four things. It's either gonna be temperature, um, pH level, moisture, or air. So I checked all my sensors I have right now I only have moisture, pH, and temperature. And they're all in safe zones, they're all great. So it had to be air, um, which is weird because it's never been a problem until now, until now, because of something I did. I made a little bit of a mistake. So what I did just last week was because the dogs kept tearing up my fabric, Put some sheet metal on here and I think that's all it took since I didn't have anything 
any other way for air to get in there except from the surface to starve my worms of oxygen. Um, and so what I did today was I went with a half inch drill bit and I just drilled holes all on the bottom of the worm farm. This is something I should have done a few months ago and something I talked about doing but never really got around to because it didn't look like there was a real issue with the oxygen level oxygen level in the farm. Um, so I remedied it, got a drill, drilled it all out. We're gonna see, because we're getting another batch of 20,000 worms to add um, this next week. We'll see if that helps on the die off. And I'm gonna find something to replace this sheet metal that the dogs can't destroy, um, but also does a good job of holding in the moisture. It's kind of unfortunate that that happened. But you just kind of got to learn from little mistakes here and there. Luckily, not too much damage was done. There's still tons of worms. I turned the bit, the beds. Still thousands upon thousands of worms there. So we didn't lose too much progress. Just maybe lost two or three thousand worms to a, a miniature mass die off. So get it taken care of, and hopefully these changes fix it. So this kind of goes to show you can do something for years and still make mistakes. I've been raising worms for about two and a half, three years now. But still, I didn't think that through. I thought, oh, we have sheet metal laying around. I'll grab some and throw it on there and it will solve the problem. And for a few days it did. And, uh, but it caused another one. If I would have just stopped and thought that through for just a few minutes, probably would have done something different. But hopefully, no long-term harm.